1 Chronicles chapter 13 David consulted with the leaders of thousands and hundreds, as well as with every commander. David then addressed the entire assembly of Israel, saying, If it is agreeable to you and the Lord our God permits, let us send word to our fellow Israelites throughout the land, including the priests and Levites in their cities and towns, to gather together with us. Our purpose is to bring the ark of our God back to us, as we neglected it during the days of Saul. The entire assembly agreed that this plan was right, and they supported it. So David gathered all of Israel from Shear in Egypt to the entrance of Hamath, to bring the ark of God from Kirjathirim. David and all Israel went up to Bala, that is, to Kirjathirim, which belonged to Judah, to retrieve the ark of God, the Lord, who dwells between the cherubim, and whose name is invoked upon it. They transported the ark of God on a new cart from the house of Abinadab, with Uzzah and Ahio driving the cart. David and all Israel celebrated before God with great enthusiasm. They sang, played harps, psalteries, timbrels, cymbals, and trumpets. When they reached the threshing floor of Chedon, Uzzah reached out his hand to steady the ark because the oxen stumbled. But the Lord's anger was kindled against Uzzah, and he struck him down because he touched the ark. Uzzah died there before God. David became upset because the Lord had caused a breach in Uzzah. That place was then named Perizuza, which means, Breach of Uzzah, and it retains that name to this day. David was fearful of God on that day, and wondered how he could safely bring the Ark of God to his home. Therefore, David decided not to bring the Ark to the city of David. Instead, he diverted it to the house of Obedidim the Gittite. The Ark of God stayed with the family of Obedidim in his house for three months and the Lord blessed Obedidim and all his possessions.